Hey guys, so here we are about to get started on the very first step for our RV10 and after agonizing trying not to screw up the very first step, we finally got the lines drawn onto the rear spark caps and are about to get the first cuts made onto both of them to get everything going. We are starting the real plane. <laughs> So right before I started to make the cut, I suddenly realized how long this was. It was a 16 inch cut and I decided that it would be smart to put some uh, relief cuts into it. And I was really glad actually Ty stopped me because it's important I think for both of us to be on the same page and um, agree with kind of what we're doing because this wasn't something that was in the instructions. But I wanted to make sure to put some relief cuts so that that way if I felt like I needed to move my hands or change my grip. I didn't have to back the saw blade out all the way um, and uh, try to back it out of a 16 inch cut. So here you can see that I'm cutting these tiny little relief cuts here um, going perpendicular to it just to allow for that little piece to be able to come off. That way uh, I don't have to try to back the blade out if I need to stop. Um, those little pieces will just start to come off and you'll actually see later on that it was useful because I decided to move my hands and, uh, and I didn't have to worry about trying to back the blade out. The pieces had just popped off and I waited until I got to the next relief cut to just switch my hands about. So that's what we're doing here.
we got that first cut done and now just have to repeat the process on the other uh, rear spar cap. So went and cut some more little relief cuts since that worked out so well the first time. And uh, just had to make that long cut. And then we were going to be finished there with that first step. So Ty's already off deburring that one piece. And uh, we'll deburr the next one. So we'll have another video coming up with the rest of what we did for the first day. Ah!